Hi guys! We're back again with yet another set of riddles that will put your mind to the test. If you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe and please give this video a big thumbs up because today we're going to test your brain power with 5 tricky riddles only a genius could solve. A man works at an aquarium. Every day he spends a large chunk of his time trying to stop people from tapping on the glass at the shark tank. Finally, fed up with it, he comes up with a solution. The solution works perfectly. The next day, no one taps on the glass. However, he was fired for it. What was the man's solution? The man painted a crack on the glass. Fearing it would break, no one touched it. However, since it made the aquarium seem unsafe and it scared the patrons, he was fired. A man wanted to get into a members only club, so he hid and watched the guard at the door of the clubhouse. The guard set a number to each member as they approached, and the member would respond with a number of their own. If the member responded with the correct number, they were let in. If they responded incorrectly, they were thrown out. One member came up to the door, the guard said 12, and the member responded with 6 and was let in. Another member came to the door, the guard said 6, and the member responded with 3 and was let in. Believing he had heard enough, the reject went up to the guard. The guard said 10, and the reject said 5, but was not let in. What should the reject have said? He should have said 3. The number of the letters and the number, the guard said. Once upon a time in the Westlake village, a servant lived with his master. After service of about 30 years, his master became ill and was going to die. One day, the master called a servant and asked him for a wish. It could be any wish but just one. The master gave him one day to think about it. The servant became very happy and went to his mother for discussion about the wish. His mother was blind and she asked her son to make a wish for her eyesight to come back. Then the servant went to his wife. She became very excited and asked for a son as they were childless for many years. After that, the servant went to his father who wanted to be rich and so he asked his son to wish for a lot of money. The next day, he went to his master and made one wish through which all three, mother, father, wife, got what they wanted. You have to tell what the servant asked the master. The servant said, my mother wants to see her grandson swinging on a swing of gold. A man is trapped in a room. The room has only two possible exits, two doors. Through the first door, there is a room constructed from magnifying glass. The blazing hot sun instantly fries anything or anyone that enters. Through the second door, there is a fire-breathing dragon. How does the man escape? He waits until nighttime and then goes through the first door.
One day, the local primary school was visited by the government school inspector, who was there to check that teachers were performing well in their respective classes. He was very impressed with one particular teacher. The inspector noticed that each time the class teacher asked a question, every child in the class put up their hands enthusiastically to answer it. More surprisingly, whilst the teacher chose a different child to answer the question each time, the answers were always correct. Why would this be? The children were instructed to all raise their hands whenever a question was asked. It did not matter whether they knew the answer or not. If they did not know the answer, however, they would raise their left hand. If they knew the answer, they would raise their right hand. The class teacher would choose a different child each time, but always the ones who had their right hand raised. A lot of people are arguing over the correct answer to this algebra problem involving horses, horseshoes, and boots. A Facebook post with this problem has over 500,000 comments. Can you figure it out? Give it a try and then I will explain the correct answer. In order to solve this problem, you have to look very closely at the pictures. The first trick is that in the third line, there are two horseshoes versus in the fourth equation, there is just one horseshoe. The other difference is that the third line has two boots, whereas the fourth line only has one boot. So taking these things into account, let's find the correct value to the last expression. The first equation is that three horses are equal to 30. We can divide both sides of the equation by three to get that one horse is equal to 10. We now look at the next equation. We can replace the horses with the value of 10. We can then subtract 10 from both sides. To get that same number of horseshoes is equal to 8. We count that there are 4 horseshoes equal to 8, which means 1 horseshoe is equal to 2. This brings us to the third equation. We have 2 horseshoes minus 2 boots equal 2. We can replace the 2 horseshoes by the value of 2 times 2 which is 4. We then have a 4 minus something is equal to 2. That means the two boots have to have a value that's equal to 2. We therefore have two boots equal to 2, which means one boot is equal to 1. So we now have that the boot is equal to 1, the horseshoe is equal to 2, and the horse is equal to 10. We need to evaluate boot plus the horse times a horseshoe. We substitute in these values and get 1 plus 10 times 2. The last thing we have to remember is we have to follow the order of operations. Multiplication should take precedence over addition. 10 times 2 is equal to 20. We then take 1 plus 20, and that's equal to the correct answer of 21. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.